contest is an international catchweight contest. Six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout is going to decide the winner. On my right in the red corner, the European middleweight champion, Hurricane Keith Hayward. His opponent, colourful character in the blue corner, Iron Fist, Clive Myers. In a very sharp new gown, he's come in this afternoon. He's always worn some really snazzy gear, but that really is sharp. New type headband too. Generally wrestles uh, barefoot, but this time it looks like he's uh, got some strapped on slippers. Second away, round one. So round one of a six round contest, two falls to decide it. Clive Myers, iron fist in the headband and yellow pants, black belt of course. And his opponent, Keith Hayward of Dartford, Kent. Hayward, who beat Mal Sanders at Walthamstow on Cup Final Day earlier this year for the European middleweight title. Clive Myers there, giving away just a few pounds to Haywood. But such a powerful man. Remember the world arm wrestling champion under 15 stone, that's pretty, pretty good power in those arms. on cross press but thrown off very quickly by Hayward. much in the ropes. Surprised that the sweatband still staying on. But useful to him of course as it is many sportsmen because it does stop that sweat pouring down into the eyes. Beautiful suplex, double arm suplex over the top cross press, beautifully done by Myers but <laughs> again Hayward has little trouble throwing him off. Very powerful man, this force we got for Kent. Man through the ropes. Paul Nelson Hayward. Yes, there's several occasions so far that um, Iron Fist Myers has tried that cross press far too near the bottom rope. I don't think he would have held it anyway, but little point in trying it, one would think, when this man is underneath the bottom rope. Hey, what? 
I have my eyes looking down at that restless bridge, wondering how to break it. It's, uh, it's going to be tough. He was a very powerful match. In fact, no problem getting out. Reverse side headlock now to Hayward. And again, whipped out that quick inverted whip. Half a minute left in this first round. Speed of those wrist levers, and it's uh, Hayward that <laughs> finally wins the little move there, just as the bell will go for round one. <laughs> Keith Hayward from Dartford, this uh, British schoolboy champion, junior champion, London light welter, eight times, all sorts of records he's got it before he turned pro. Seconds away, round three. Round three, four to go, and no score. And it's going to be really interesting to see who gets that first score, if there's going to be one. And it doesn't look at the moment as if either of them are going to fall for many of the tricks of the opponent. Uh, going to try it again, though, Haywood. Oh! Instead, caught him beautifully at the back of the neck. <laughs> oh, the counters are coming so thick and fast. Every time I go for a, either of them go for a wrist lever, it's countered. <laughs> oh, yes, the leg went forward, grabbed the left foot of uh, Haywood, enabling the arms to manoeuvre to the, the hold he wanted. Very neat. Reverse double knee, but the bridge by Haywood counters it again. Body scissors now Myers. And a possible folder here to Haywood. Now shoulder blades not now, no count at all. Single finger into lock attack. Switches it fast to the, the right ankle and the toe hold. Figure four leg lock. <laughs> and if he can get the other arm, this should be interesting. He's going for it. Now then, now he's, he's released the feet. So no chance at the surfboard this time. But the double arm is still on, held by the legs. But Haywood comes out on top in that one. With the back hammer. What a great counter mover this fellow Keith Haywood is. Attacks coming from all angles. Yes. <coughs> Hayward seems to have the answer. There's another one cross press. This time Myers very quickly out. Again goes for the leg trip. Tries for both feet, misses with one. Myers forcing that uh, figure four leg lock there. so quick at that double leg grab, but his follow-up cross press don't, doesn't work quite because he's always starts it too near the ropes. If he can just get him further back. Control slam for him. He counted two. 
Referee doesn't know where to come next. And, uh, <laughs> and Myers didn't like it when he heard the count. One there, because his left shoulder blade was well off. There's the bridge by Myers this time with a minute to go. He would try to break it. All Myers does is slide along. He just won't, that neck won't give. his map and that's the way the bout's been not a single private warning of any kind from referee Lesnby less than a half a minute now in this third round says you can do that as many times as you like I'm still not releasing his toe hold in fact the bell will make him release it in a minute in fact in four seconds <laughs> he's released just in time so Keith Hayward on the left Clive Myers on the right iron fists the sweatband still on. Both sweating profusely, but so even that it's practically impossible to believe that anybody's going to certainly fall for a submission here, maybe not even a fall. Seconds away, round four. Round four, three to go. Iron Fist Myers of Jamaica, Keith Hayward of Dartford, Kent. Hayward not quite so quick as Myers with those leg grabs. At least that time he wasn't. Both agree to a finger and a lock. And a straight arm lift and a finger and a lock. And Hayward's in trouble here. Could be a submission here. I thought. I said a submission unlikely, but it's still possible from that straight arm lift. And still, Clive Myers has not released that thing, that wrist. The Come on! No. Arm leave us right against no. the joint still. No. No. And being bent right back, but no speed, so therefore perfectly legally. And the fingers are not separated. No. And back to the finger interlock. And Myers wants to try that again. They're <laughs> looking up at the the roof here as if to say, I'm going to try that again. That same arm is still right against the joint. And now for the first time being allowed with it as Hayward's head goes under the bottom rope for a break. Oh, this is really amazingly even. This I'd, <laughs> There's no way that uh, beautiful suplex from that double arm and follow cross press again thrown off before he even got the hold on. Quite incredible speed. Opposite corner posting, follow up with the perfectly legitimate uh, sort of the foot in the face. Now, has he got Hayward a bit weakened? He has, I think. Cross press now. Can Hayward throw him? Yes, he still does. It's incredible, this man. He really... And the double arm suplex again. The follow up. Is he trying from there without even cross pressing? Beautifully done by Myers. The first fall to Clive Ironfist Myers, Myers, 2.45 of round four. And two minutes, 45 seconds of round four. The first fall of the contest goes to Ironfist, Clive Myers.
and beautifully done it was. I'm quite sure that uh, his opponent was waiting for that cross-press follow-up that he's done three or four times, which Hayward threw off quite easily, and there's the polite congratulatory handshake from uh, Hayward. One fall up, then Myers, two rounds to go. Seconds away, round five. Now, can Keith Hayward come back into this? In order to give himself a chance for a win, apart from knockouts or disqualifications, most unlikely in this case, he's got to get the equalizer in this fifth round to give himself a chance for the winner in the final round six. But if he doesn't get the equalizer in this round, he can only draw at best, unless, of course, he manages to knock his man out, which is hardly possible. He's trying to hold that folder, but his own feet went through the ropes. Very much deserved applause for both men here. Really excellent contest. I'm sure he didn't mean to grab the leg quite that high. It's doing him no good at all. He would, and he's just got to release. It's a quick head mare. And <laughs> now Haywood waiting for the follow up that didn't come. But to the stomach. Two, three. <laughs> the way he'd undressed that was beautifully done. He pulled that toe and ankle away. So nice. Good body check, nicely timed. And he would com comes up a little bit quicker this time, get there, but Oh, anybody's guess this one. Really terrific stuff. And, oh, beautifully done. And he's followed down cross press very quickly by Hayward. If he holds, he's hold. He's held. Beautifully done. Two minutes, 15 seconds into round five. There's the equalizing fall to Hayward. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in round five, the equalizing fall goes to the European middleweight champion, Hurricane Keith Hayward. Hurricane Hayward from Dartford Camp gets the equalizer in round five, which we were saying earlier he had to do in order to give himself a chance of the winner in this final round, which comes up any second. One for lead, six outs, last round. Round six, final round, one fall each. And that's how sporting it's been all the way through. Referee Ken Lazenby, I'm quite sure, has never had an easier bout to handle. He's not delivered a single warning of any kind to either of them. Again, the quick high by Myers for follow up cross press, though, that he's tried so many times, didn't work once again. <laughs> Tries that folding press from the side, but Hayward rolls into it. <laughs> Clive Myers was trying to grab that wrist between his uh, ankles there for a spin out, but it, uh, Hayward spotted it. Smooth with that one. Cross press this time. Counts a counter two. Two, three, four. Nice lift forward. Reverse double leg Nelson there to Hayward, but he couldn't get back to lay on the folder that he wanted. Myers was doing was helping his opponent out a bit over there. Again, that suplex. He's delivered one of those four times, I think. And again, the cross press didn't work. He's thrown off before he even gets on that cross press. Uh, 
both men must be saying to them, thinking to themselves, what am I going to do to beat this guy? That's the speed. Hayward going for the head. Maya saw it coming, timed it to perfection and goes for the leg. Nice throw. Won't get him anywhere from the score point of view, but at least got rid of his man from the counter point of view. That's quicker again. Trying the shoulder press, further shoulder press from underneath there, Myers. Almost there. He would try to force Myers back to canvas. It's just about there, but he'll never get the shoulder blades down from that angle. Well, less than two minutes to go now in this final round. One fall each. The next score is the one that counts. Pull over. Pull over. Didn't work. Fly, really flying shoulder press there from Hayward from a distance. To this man through the ropes. He's trying it again. Again, very near the ropes, but this time Myers comes up with the body scissors counter. Finger interlocked, both of them. And Hayward steps back. He would look at him as if to say, what am I supposed to do with this fight? I've tried everything. Just one minute to go. The counter moves from both men, applauded by the crowd. Uh, certainly we got some purists, connoisseurs of wrestling here this afternoon. Now then, side surfboard, Haywood's last chance, he hasn't got too long. There's the pedal, 30 seconds he's got, there's the surfboard and the sideways on version. And his submission here would do it for him, but otherwise I think, yes. Miles again counters and tries a cross press on the counter. 12 seconds only, this bout. Double arm stretch to Myers, 10, 8. Five seconds and hardly time to start the new move now. It's got to be a one all draw, one fall each draw. It is an excellent bout, I think you'll agree, as the applause from the crowd here proves what they thought. Brian Crabtree to announce it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after an excellent sporting professional wrestling contest, the referee's decision is a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, your appreciation for Keith Hayward and Iron Fist Clyde Myers. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This is a catchweight contest and to be wrestled over eight three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout's going to decide the winner. Over on my right in the red corner, from Sterling in Scotland, the Flying Scot, Chick Cullen. His opponent in the blue corner from Chatham. Will you welcome, please, Hurricane Keith Hayward. <laughs> and the referee, Mr. Ken Joyce. The referee, Ken Joyce, the former European welterweight champion. Now turned referee. Looking over Keith Hayward, Hurricane Keith Hayward from Dartford in Kent. 12 stone 6. Right, both of you boys know the rules. Giving away over a stone to. Frank Chick Cullen from Sterling, Scotland at 13 stone 10. Seconds to the ring. Round one. Eight three minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. And easily identifiable. Chick Cullen right. on the right in the dark red. Star, stars all over his chest and beautiful silver boots and red knee bandages. 
protectors. And the full leotard. But the leotard with a difference. Chick Cullen, the blonde boy from Sterling, Scotland. The flying Scot. He's shown us in a couple of uh, recent televised matches since we first saw him in uh, February of 81. Just how fast and efficient he can be against people like Finlay. He really worried Finlay when he took him on for his title. But he's got an opponent here today in Keith Haywood, who probably one of the finest amateur records before turning pro in 1980. Assisting with a side headlock, Haywood doesn't seem to be able to do anything about it at the moment. Advantage really for the first time on that double handed wrist lever. Oh, nice. Beat away that move very nicely, Colin. Haywood back in with it. Again, double handed wrist lever once more. Head scissors escape by Cullen. Should be quite a good match, this one. Two very evenly matched fellas. Hate to bet on this one. comes from Sterling, the Scott and the Flying Scott. First time we saw him was uh, early in 1981. Three years amateur experience at the Allen Amateur Wrestling Club at uh, Bridge of Allen. Turned full-time pro in 1980. His mentor was the very well-known Roy Bull Davis. I'm sure some of you older Grappa fans will remember him very well. Seconds play the ring. Round two. Round two, seven to go, three minute rounds, remember. No score, two falls to the side. Cullen in the starred strip in the silver boots. Gray, early. Those pretty handsome fellows of single leg boss in the tank by Cullen. He would want to go over. Cullen realizes it releases. <laughs> Cullen refused to go with that whip. Nice trip by Cullen. Good counter again. Beautiful countering movie going on here. Something really special by Cullen. Haywood is no slouch of the counter move, but uh, Cullen's showing up really well so far. Nice trip. He does those beautiful, doesn't he? He just slams the right instep in the back of the foot as he trips the front. Beautiful. Man. Ending up with a toe hold. Folded leg. Ah! 
Now, if he doesn't let his head too near, he can take a bit of a breather here if he needs it. Figure four in lock. Just long enough to get the back hammer on, then he releases the leg lock. Just a minute to go, round two. Backwards, that's a terrible situation. What do you say? No. Trying for submission here. He's got the nearest arm lever and the head going right the opposite way. Seldom seen that move, but pretty effective. But he didn't get the submission he was hoping for. Eight seconds. Half Nelson throws still with the arm in the wrist lever, but too late in this round. Right. Hurricane Keith Hayward from Dartford in Kent. 12 stone six, British schoolboy champion at, uh, and junior, as well as the judo Olympic team in Montreal, 1976. Bronze medal Commonwealth at Edmund Games, 1978. Oh, he really is some martial arts expert, this fellow. Seconds play the ring, round three. Incidentally, Keith Haber was the British Greco-Roman wrestling style champion at the lightweight class, and also Samba at welterweight, Samba. So he really has done a few different areas in the martial arts field. Six rounds to go, no score, two falls to the side. Haywood in the dark, plain trunks. So even so far, I think one round each would be the judge's decision. They spin out from the back there. Cullen nearly always the man that goes in on the attack first, you notice. But if he is attacked, he's pretty hot with the counters. After another submission chance. Helen gives up on that one. He tried for quite a few seconds there. Limping a little bit, but Hayward managed to stay out of the submission stakes there. Now Cullen knows that that left leg of uh, Haywood's has been weakened. He'll go for it all the time. And there's the jump stick over the toe hold. He didn't bother to hold the toe for too long once the jump was complete. Just a minute left, round three. Quick trips those by Cullen. He would really can't get into this at the moment. It's all Cullen attacking. Dictating every move this round. Mainly because of the weak left leg, of course. Got something to go for. One, two, three, four, five. Again, grab. He would just cannot stay away from it at the moment. Can't keep the left leg out of trouble. But he, there he is again with the counter move. Just eight seconds now. More weakness, but no time for any. So Hayward 
Let's see if he limps a bit to the corner. Yes, he does, doesn't he? Most of the knee, I think. But it really has been through something, that left leg in this uh, last round. Cullen has really been concentrating it all the time. Still knowing Hayward, he'll come back. He always does. Seconds play the ring. Round four. Round four, five rounds to go, still no score. Two falls to decide this. Cullen versus Haywood. Haywood in the plane trunk. So he's back to us. Well, so far, Haywood managing to keep that left leg out of trouble. Let's see how long that lasts. As you can see Cullen eyeing it, just waiting to get in there again. There, he's got it. there he goes again. He would have somehow got to keep that left leg away from him. Already causing him a lot of trouble. Over the top, and he goes from Cullen beautifully on a folding press, just by surprise there, and he gets it. Beautiful. Oh, what a move. Caught Cullen completely by surprise just when he was dictating the box. Beautifully done. Just over a minute into round four. Hayward, the first fall. In one minute, one second of round four, referee Joyce gives the first fall to the blue corner, Hurricane Keith Hayward. What a sudden move that was, and sportingly acknowledged there by Cullen, the Scotsman, who comes over to shake his hand. But halfway through the bout, uh, Hayward still got that left leg trouble. He got out of it for a second or two then, see what he can do in round five. There goes to the ring. Round five. Still limping slightly on that left leg. But Cullen's going to be a little... Apprehensive about coming in quite so quickly, thinking he's got it all his own way from now on. One, two, three, four, five. One. Well, the figure four leg lock's doing this, and of course it's the left leg that uh, Hayward's got to watch all the time. So it's a hammer lock on the Hayward left arm at the same time, releases that, goes back to the left leg. Oh, nicely twisted out of trouble. Went right with the hole. Half Nelson if he didn't go with the whip. And now it's Cullen's left arm that could be in trouble. But Hayward maybe will go for that all the time. A little bit too quickly on that occasion. Hayward looking straight at it, wants that left arm of Cullen. Yes, he's got it. Right back. Four, five, Turns his man neatly. Six, seven, Waiting for another chance at it. And a minute to go on five. going for the Cullen left leg this time. At least that ensures he's keeping his own out of trouble for the moment anyway. Back to the left arm, but too early. And this man was still on the deck. 15 seconds to go. 
Back to Cullen on the left arm, and it's right against the joint, but he's only got five seconds. Too late. Cullen on for the equaliser there, but he just left it a little bit too late on that attack before the end of round five. Keith Cullen, who's recently been in Canada, and uh, has he ever improved as a wrestler since he wrestled out of Canada in Calgary, Alberta there? Weight training, takes up a lot of his time, Birkenhead. Seconds for the ring, round six. His speciality, the drop kick. Cullen hasn't used it so far this afternoon, but uh, we can see it any moment. Three rounds to go, and still Haywood in the plain blue trunks, leading Frank Chick Cullen by one fall to nil. And again, Cullen concentrating on the Haywood left hand. He wants that equaliser in the shape of a submission hold. And he tried it, but uh, he's giving up on that. Yes, that's what Cullen is trying to do because Hayward's been doing it to him. Turning the ball oh, one, all completely. Two, three, four, five, eight, eight. They were a little bit mad about that. Oh, great posting, and even the referee for this down there, in the one, neutral corner. Two, three, <laughs> it's a big laugh from the crowd. Five, referee six, hanging out of the top rope, right, he was just sent two, flying one, by the impetus two, of Hayward. Posting. And there goes another. And he's waiting, he was waiting for him, but beautifully done held by Cullen. Beautifully held. He was in trouble, but he counted so quickly that Hayward just wasn't expecting the possibility of that. So Chick Cullen, in just one minute, 36 seconds, of round six gets the equalizing fall. Brian Crabtree, your MC to announce it. In round six, the equalizing fall goes to the right corner, and Scotland's Chick Cullen. Great move, because Haywood started that move and almost had a folding body press from the side there. Cullen knew it, got inside and reversed the situation, but beautifully. Two rounds to go, one fall each. Seconds to the ring, round seven. Round seven. A little bit of respect for each other now after six rounds of this bout. Both really high-class wrestlers. Pretty good sitting head mayor. <laughs> Cullen, the way he's looking down all the time at uh, Hayward's left leg, how soon can he grab it? Back in the neck. Three, four, the oh, one, two, a little bit low that back elbow. And there's finally Collins got the left leg again. He would win in a bit close. Oh, yes, and oh. It follows him out, but I don't know whether which one has landed well or badly there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the referee was instantly out of the ring after both wrestlers went outside the ring. And they're both injured. The referee has stopped the contest. He's going to make the contest a draw.